Hey YouTube, it's your nice channel video, and uh, I'm gonna do a review of Smack 'Em Up, the Prince Devitt um, documentary from BBC or something like that. And uh, um, I know it's late. I wrote this down a long time ago. Not a long time ago, probably like a week or two ago. But um, it's following him on his last tour of Japan before going to WWE. But um, first, it starts off at Bray, his hometown in Ireland. Um, he got into wrestling after watching it with his granddad. And when he grew up, he went to England to get trained. Um, then he was talking to this wrestler where... It fell, I guess, on the back part where, like, it's, like, the turnbuckle and then, like, the coil thing or the rope, like, the metal part. And it said the dude fell and, like, hit his nuts and he had to get one taken out or whatever. That's crazy. And, um, yeah, that was kind of really cool. And then, um, then it showed, uh, Prince Devitt, Ferg, Fergal, whatever. Uh, going to ICW, preparing for his match or whatever, getting painted up. That was cool. Like his, he had a wrestler do it for him. And then um, he said ICW was a dope company. And it showed a clip of this dude that looked like Paul London, and he like pulled his nuts up the side of his trunks and jumped and touched the dude on his face. That was gay and weird, but. And they showed some more clips, and ICW looks pretty cool. And um, the paint's finished, and it's got like a Spider-Man-ish um, look. And uh, it showed him working out, and showed him talking to other wrestlers, and about injuries, and all the injuries that he's had. And he had a long list of injuries, and that's not the last of them, because... He's just now getting to NXT, and it's just the beginning of it all. And um, he said wrestling's like a free drug. He gets high off of it, off of wrestling with the fans and stuff. And um, showed him leaving Ireland to go to Japan on the flight or whatever. And then they pick him up in this nice car, and they go through the big city with all the big lights and stuff. And then they pull up at this ugly little place, and it was the New Japan Dojo or whatever. And um, he said that he was the first Western guy in 20 years to be talked about, I mean, in there at the dojo. He said he cooked and cleaned for the vets. And then since then, uh, Carl Anderson and Gallows have came in, and uh, Carl said Ferg has the most amazing set of abs um, that he's seen in person, and um, he said they stayed at the dojo for three months, and uh, they wanted to call him... Uh, Fergal DeVette, but it was hard for Japanese people to pronounce, so they was going to call him King DeVette, but he was too young to be a king, so they called him Prince DeVette or DeVette, whatever, and uh, yeah, so that was kind of a cool story, and then Carl and Ferg kept in touch over the years, and then Carl sent in a tape to New Japan. And then he got, uh, Ferg told him to send in a tape, and he got signed, like a three-month deal, or whatever. And then it showed the birth of a Bullet Club, where they traveled together, and they ate together, or whatever. And then they said they were first dominant group of Gaijin, or whatever, the foreign guys. And they said when they formed the Bullet Club that they... See what I wrote. They started being themselves and goofing off and having fun and whatnot. And then it showed them at the Hurricane Hall or wherever. And then he was like, "How the f did I end up from from Bray to shining autographs in Tokyo?" And 
Then I uh, showed it to him, Road to Invasion from April, Bullet Club before there. They were all doing the two sweet to each other and his his last match on Kirk and Hall or whatever. And, and uh, they put a bag on this dude named Takuchi's head, start hitting him and make him say that uh, Bullet Club was number one or Ichiban, whatever that is. And um, they said that they spend 20,000 yen or something like that at a time. Or maybe it's 20,000. Probably not 20,000 dollars. It's probably 20,000 yen at a time when they go out to eat with the sponsors and stuff. And they, they take them out and pay for it for them to eat, the Bullet Club to eat. And the guys showed them they, they paid to get chopped or whatever and it was funny they kept they and then there was like the dude that paid for it and they made his assistant get chopped and he didn't want to and it was hilarious and uh and then this one fan gave fur um this figure that he made and it was really cool and uh said um Carl said uh, when he was making no money and Ferg was making 2000 a week or something like that, Ferg bought uh, Carl a pair of shoes and he said, I can't wait till he makes a million dollars in WWE so he can buy me a house. And then Doc was like, he said, I'd like a four-wheeler and a horse. It, it was hilarious. Like, You'd have to see it, but I don't know if there's a link of it still up, because I clicked on a link, and I don't know if it's still on there. And then they started getting emotional, and then he was, like, talking to Fale, and he was like, can I borrow your shades or whatever? And then he was like, now I can talk, and it was funny. Then the last match in the Tokyo Dome, preparing, um, and, uh, he said he doesn't wrestle for the fame or the glory, that he wrestles just to wrestle and for the fans or whatever. And then it shows him getting the airbrush, like it's getting airbrushed on or whatever the paint. And, um, he said it's, um, icing on the cake, six years in England and eight years in Japan. And then it was Devitt versus Taguchi, and the crowd went nuts when he took his hat off forever, and like the paint, and it was crazy. <coughs> and um, it was like a, kind of like a loser leave town match or whatever, Ferg lost or whatever, but it wasn't a stip, but that's kind of like how it was, or how it seemed, and he said, his last match was like breaking up with 10,000 girlfriends at the same time. And it showed them at the restaurants going cra the fans going crazy and getting chopped and stuff. And then he goes to Newcastle to wrestle for ICW one more time. And, uh... Yeah. And, um... He was talking about how the ICW crowd was thanking him, and he was like, you shouldn't be thanking me, I should be thanking you, I'm gonna go sign, so he's like, so I'm gonna go sign some autographs. And um, that was the end of it, it was an awesome documentary, it was only like 50 minutes long, you need to go check it out if you can, find it on good YouTube, Daily Motion, whatever, um, it was, I mean, they could have showed more clips of older stuff, but... It, it was focused on his last tour, and um, I didn't really know very much about him. I know that he's a good wrestler and that he has cool paint and all that, but I don't really, I don't really know a lot about him. And I kind of, I learned quite a bit off that. And uh, yeah, go search it up, smack him up, Fergal, Prince Devet, whatever uh, documentary, and uh, yeah, see if you can find it because it's definitely worth the watch. And uh, that's about it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Bye.